Hey there folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Our grill is looking shameful. <laughs> I'd like to take you along today with me and we're gonna refinish this grill, make it look nice again. We're gonna have a little cookout later on today and I'm gonna show you how to take your old grill and make it look new again so you don't have to go out and spend 300 bucks buying a new grill because your old one looks like crap. All right, so come along today on the farm vlog and we'll have a little bit of fun fixing up the grill. All right, folks, so what we have here is a Master Forge grill. Now, this is a pretty cool grill. It's a charcoal grill, and I believe in cooking with charcoal. I just think it gives your meat a little bit better flavor. But it's been setting outside. I think this grill is like three years old, which is a testimony to how long a grill lasts. Now, we'll walk you around the grill. We'll tell you about its features, and then we'll show you what we're going to do here. Pretty simple grill. This has got the two-tier little spot here, one for like warming and one for cooking. Underneath here you have a pretty cool setup and it's all crusty from last year. Um, I don't normally clean my grill until the next time I fire it up. So this grate is where your coals sit and there's a handle right here and you crank this handle and you can see there's a mechanical thing in there that brings the grate both up and down. And that gets your coals a little bit closer to where you want to work. Now underneath here there's a tray. And this tray is upside down because I flip it over when I store it for the winter time so it doesn't puddle up water inside the tray and cause it to rust out. Now we'll take those ashes that are on there and put them in the yard. It comes with a little bottle opener in case you have any adult beverages or regular beverages you'd like to drink. And this also is our damper. So we open and close our damper with this little handle right here so we can control our heat. Very, very, very happy with this grill. You also have an adjuster here at the top that's another damper that allows either less or more. And you can use this for smoking, all sorts of stuff. And there's another damper on this side right here. We also have a little temperature gauge, which has been pretty reliable so far. Before we get down to business, guys, please, if you like this stuff, click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and click the little bell down there. It'll notify you when I post a new video. I appreciate having you here. And one way you can give back is subscribing and clicking the like button. Let's get busy. If you drive down any city street this time of year, it's springtime, you'll see grills all over the side of the road. Rusty grills, crusty grills. The lifespan of a backyard grill isn't that long, maybe one or two years. So when you're paying like $200, $300 for a grill, you want it to last. And we've taken good care of this one to make sure it does last. Hopefully we'll get at least two more years out of it. But the outside looks like just so we're going to take care of that. Now there are a few tools that are going to be essential to this. A little roll of painter's tape. I got a sanding sponge here. I have a knife. You can use an X-Acto knife or just an easy razor knife. And I also have a Rust-Oleum spray paint handle. I'll show you this a little closer and I'll give you a little more detail on the spray paint that we're going to use. So the spray paint we're going to use is a 2000 degree protective paint. It's a Rust-Oleum brand paint. I'll post links to all this fun stuff that we're using in the vlog today, but it's a Rust-Oleum paint and basically we're going to go over the entire grill here after we tape off the parts that we don't want to be spray painted. Pretty cool. This stuff works. It lasts, it works, it does a good job and it helps you to refinish your grill. Now, this little doodad right here is something really, really cool. It opens up and you can tell I've used it a lot. It's by Rust-Oleum. I'll post the link down below, but you clip it on to your spray paint can and basically it makes you a spray paint gun, which is very, very handy because I don't know if you've ever painted something this big with a spray can, but using your finger, you'll end up switching fingers and you'll be like, because your fingers will get covered with paint and it just, it's just hard on your hands. So this is awesome. And we'll show you how we use it. Now there's really only one place that I don't want paint and I don't want it on this glass right here. So basically here's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take my tape and I'm just gonna cover the entire area right here, just like that. I'm gonna take two pieces of tape and do this. And then I'm gonna kind of press the tape down on the glass part and I'll take my little knife here and this doesn't have to be perfect it's your grill it's your backyard so 
you know, you want to protect this so you can tell what your temperatures are, how hot it's running in there. So I'll press it down on the glass, and then I'll go around the edge and just basically trim off all the way around the edge, just like that, and voila, pull off the tape. Pretty cool. Now we've protected that little glass piece. Pretty neat. We're gonna take our sanding sponge here and basically we'll sand off some spots that have a little bit of heavy rust. I'll show you. Now you don't have to go too awful crazy with your sanding sponge, but basically if you look and see all that rust will just kind of disappear. And you can see all the little spots where their surface rust is starting to disappear. I'm gonna lightly sand this whole thing really quickly, okay? Now you can go as crazy as you want to with the sanding process at your grill. If you want to make it look like a show car, you can make it look like a show car. We're just trying to get off anything that might be moderately obvious once we start slinging paint on this thing. I think this will make it look a little bit better. I'm just going to take a little piece of tape and kind of wrap around the edges of my little chrome accents or stainless steel accents right here. Nobody will ever really notice but me, but it would drive me absolutely crazy to see that and be ashamed that I didn't just take two seconds and do the right thing. All right, at this point, we're going to get into the science of this. I like to keep my paint out in the sun. I want to leave my paint out in the sun for at least 30, maybe 45 minutes, and you want to shake it really, really well. You want to shake it at least a minute, maybe two minutes, and as you're painting, you want to stop and give it a good shake again, okay? Just shake, 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 shake. When in doubt, shake your paint. I like for the paint to be a little bit warm as it goes on, and I want the grill sitting out in the sun so it's a little bit warm. So when the paint hits it, it dries quickly, and it has less of a chance of running. So the first place I want to start painting is a place that's a little bit less obvious so that I can see where the paint is going to run and how it's going to behave. If it goes on thick, then I don't have to worry about it. And basically what I want to do is spray a straight line across and you'll see all this technique. I'm going to go pss, 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 just like that so that the spray paint job is a good job and so that you don't have heavy paint, light paint, heavy paint, light paint. What we want to do is we want to half lap over it. In other words, we'll paint a strip here and then we'll lap over it halfway and paint it here. Lap over it, paint it here. Okay, that's how you get a good, nice, smooth job. Now, you want to do a light coat first and then go back with a nice finish coat. So let's get started painting. You want to start in your hard to reach areas once you figure out how your paint's going to behave because you'll have to go back over those at different angles, okay? And I hope you see how I'm hitting this with the paint. This stuff covers really, really well. Guys, I'll post links down below to all the materials we're using here in the vlog today. We've gotten around our problem areas right here and you can see there's kind of a odd spot there. Hold it back about six to eight inches and fill in half lapping over just like I showed you before. And you can watch, you see how quickly that paint is drying right there. You can see it drying. That's what you want, okay? That's why you want it out in the sun. We're gonna go down here. Am I worried about this handle? Nope, we're gonna paint right over that handle. Be sure you don't neglect the angle. So I need to shoot down that way and I need to shoot up this way, okay? That's why I say start in your odd little corners first. Remember to get those tight little corners, those tight little spots first, okay? So you might be saying, hey, why isn't he using the spray handle yet? I'm not using a spray handle yet because I'm into these tight spots. Once I get done with the tight spots and I close the grill up, I'll put that spray handle on there and I'll really hit it. And then when I go with my second coat, I'll use that spray handle, okay? Horizontal surfaces or flat surfaces don't like to run. Vertical surfaces do like to run. So you want to go a little bit lighter and err on the side of caution and put more coats versus thicker paint. Now you can put thicker paint versus more coats on the flat surfaces. Pretty cool. Let's get busy. Guys, I don't know if you can tell, but that really, really made it pop. I want to give you a few final tips before you get started. Be sure you're about 30 feet away from any kind of vehicle or anything you don't want paint to get on because as soon as you break out that spray paint, the wind is bound to pick up, okay? Pick yourself up one of these guys. It makes life so much easier and so much less hard on your fingers. No paint on my fingers. 
because of this guy and it's dirt cheap. I think it's somewhere in a neighborhood. I think it's under 10 bucks. So I'll post links down below to this paint, to all the goodies that we used in the video. Please take the time right now to click that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. This isn't the only thing we do here on the Stony Ridge Farm. There's lots of good projects going on. One more thing I wanna to touch on, as a rule of thumb, stay six to eight inches away as you paint and things will turn out great. It doesn't look like a brand new grill, but it's pretty darn close. Make sure your grill is nice and warm by sitting in the sun and your paint's warm so when it hits it, it dries quickly and use little strokes, go lightly and get two or three cans of spray paint per grill and that'll get you started. All right, so thanks a lot guys. Come on back to Stony Ridge Farm, click that like button, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you again next time, okay? Woo! Land of the free and the home of the brave. I'm proud of who I am.